Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Eva Spirit Tarot. This is going to be your November 2020 reading, your love life for singles, what spirit wants you to know, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. This reading may have resonance come in the form of simply confirming your story, offering you emotional resonance, giving you advice or helping you to become aware of energy blocks you may have in your field. Of course, this reading won't resonate with every single Taurus out there, but I have put my intentions into this reading that those who need to find it will. Please feel free to share this video if you think it pertains to someone you know. I am a channel, and as such, I channel lots of different beings, guides, and collectives through the decks that I have here, as well as through the stones and crystals. So if you see cards flying around or my voice changing, it's just the re result of a lot of energy in this space. All information below, how to schedule a personal reading, to contact me, decks that I use will be down there. Thank you so much, Taurus, and let's get started. Okay, so what I started picking up for you is that change is in the air. Uh, I just had a reconstruction of reality. It's almost like your, your perception of reality is reconstructing. They're also saying that it's expanding. And they're saying that how this, um, so you are going through a lot of big changes, big shifts, um, and your understanding of the universe at large. And they're also showing me sort of dimensions as well. Um, experiencing other dimensions, other levels of consciousness is something that you're, that you're experiencing right now. And they're saying that how this relates to your love life for those of you who are not in a relationship, but they're saying that it can also be for those of you who, who are maybe involved with somebody, but it's not, you know, you wouldn't necessarily call it, call it a full-blown relationship, but they're saying that uh, the result of this awakening that you're going through is uh, deconstructing all of the previous notions and ideas that you had about what love is, and they're really saying love as a, as a whole, sort of like the vibration of love. They're saying that yeah, you're taking the time to, or what's happening for some of you, or what they're encouraging you to do if you're not doing this already, is looking at your life and looking at different experiences that you've had, particularly romantic relationships and just close um, people in your life, to understand about the frequency of love, that it is something, and there's, they're saying that the frequency of love is not something that most humans are able to maintain. Okay, we dip in and out of love frequency. And so it's almost like um, there's a backlog of old relationships and just experiences that you're looking through and realizing, you know, this was love and this wasn't love. And so uh, they're also saying it's like your, your mind is being blown in terms of really um, the, the universe revealing these, these truths to you about what love means. And um, as a result, it's totally changing and uh, transforming, they're saying, actually, the way that you see love and the way that you see relationships. So perhaps the things that you uh, wanted are now in the process of changing. And they're saying to not resist these changes and to not um, attach any... They're saying to, at this point in time, to not attach any firm conclusions to that and, and make um, decisions too rapidly. Uh, they're saying that allow, allow the changes and the transformation in, in terms of the way you see relationships to, to happen organically, um, to enjoy it and to, uh, they, can, they said that you can also journal with it as well. You can write things out or you can just, they're, they're showing me somebody recording themselves talking, just kind of airing out their thoughts as the universe is revealing things to you that you can, it's almost like having a conversation with the universe and, and the universe does indeed respond. But they're saying, yeah, not to rush this journey, to, to enjoy uh, going through um, this. They're saying that, uh, they're saying that for a lot of you, um, the focus this month is not so much about trying or wanting or, or even really thinking about attracting someone into your life. They're saying at this point in time. So they're saying that they, um, they know that you have a desire to have a relationship, but it's almost like uh, there's a patience that's starting to form because as, as you're going through this awakening, it's almost like these... Um, 
these attachments and these needs maybe to have a relationship or to have a partner are sort of they're they're um they're they're dissipating yeah they're dissipating that the the need is not so strong like i have to have this it's like you're, you're you're becoming a lot more patient and uh they're saying that you are you are getting back into and understanding what it means to be in a flow state and understanding that all of the work is done on the inner self and as a result they're saying that um they're showing me that what might happen or what can happen for some of you is that um it's sort of like um the universe is taking you on a journey through the cosmos you know for a while and then you you go out into the cosmos and you sort of learn all of these things about the universe and then when you come back um it's like there's someone there there's someone there um just without even really trying and that is also revealing to you another layer of sort of divine knowledge they're also saying that some of you are thinking about a specific person actually and um, realizing that um, the more you try to hold on the the more strained that dynamic can become so what they're okay what they're saying is that um, as a result of taking this journey uh, and awakening it's, it's like you're releasing attachments okay they're also saying um, releasing old cords to old lovers so that's a good thing there's a lot of release that's happening this month um, shedding okay they're saying shedding old ideas of what you thought love was um, and new ones are starting to form but that yeah they're saying don't rush it so now I'm repeating okay yes okay fairy deck wants to come first let's have a look saying split the deck okay Taurus please I just looked at the other um, half of the deck and it, it says the world and they just said to me it's like uh, the whole world at your fingertips there's definitely a, an expansion that's happening in your energy field yeah and they're they're showing that someone if you're willing to take this journey of exploration uh, and, and transformation someone is going to show up at some point and it's going to be in a very organic way I'm, I'm really just seeing like you know you standing there and then somebody just like literally comes comes in front of you with a big smile on their face and it's like you instantly know that um, you know this is somebody that's going to be in your life for a good good while but they're also saying that prior to meeting this person you're going to feel them you're going to feel their energy it's like their energy signature so as you go through this uh, transformation and this journey, I'm really seeing you like basically be being taken on a ride through the cosmos. So that's really um, exciting. And uh, so it might look for a while like on the physical plane, there's like not much going on. But on other levels, it's just it's quite mind blowing, actually. As I'm, I'm just seeing you being taken on lots of journeys like they're, they're saying like on a magic carpet ride basically through through all the dimensions they're saying um you can record your your happenings if you want to share at a later point i've been getting that message for other signs as well um with those of you who are going through transformations to to record it in some way to be able to share with others because it can it's always good to share information to be able to help people along their own journeys as well but it's like yeah when you when you come back it's like uh, you are embodying a lot more of your light and your soul energy because you're more open and expansive. So they're saying that when our energy is constricted, it's like there's not a lot of space. It's like the hole is really small for light to come through. But the more we focus on keeping our energy um, uh, uh, expanded, then um, everything is able to come through and so it's like when you come back in a way to earth you you're transformed but you're you're more yourself than you've ever been in your life but it's not just the human self that's there it's like these other aspects of your soul these other parts of you that have um, been residing in in other planets other dimensions it's like you come back and it's like you have more access to yourself and so it, um they're saying higher the higher self is 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 there they're saying higher self is integrated and they're saying they're also saying higher knowledge as well 
and as a result uh, when you come back to earth it's like the whole process of manifestation shifts for you that there's very little work and the, there's very little physical work that's done it's really being done through your own energy and you find that a lot of opportunities come to you but they're saying that when it comes to a romantic relationship somebody's just going to show up but you'll be able to sense them before they actually do the world is at your fingertips i just heard the world is yours for the taking i just heard I'm also, I just heard also that you'll be able to step, step into purpose. So the ones that I'm channeling here, you have some kind of divine purpose, you know? Yeah. Okay. Taurus, please. Taurus. November 2020, we love life with singles. Drink a sea for Taurus. Oh, they're saying take the other one. Okay, Taurus, please. Taurus, please. Thank you. All right. Hmm, interesting. Okay, first card we've got out is a five of spring. And it says, opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. So the specific message that I'm getting for you with this card is that um, there's going to be a period of time as you are transforming, and they're also saying ascending, rising in consciousness and um which really is just another way of saying allowing your the wholeness of who you are to 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 merge with your human self that while this is all happening there there might there may be sort of like discomfort or um they're saying dis disconjointed if that's a word in in some sort of way but they're saying that um uh uh don't resist the discomfort just breathe through and let the process unfold. It's kind of like they're, they're saying it's the equivalent of, uh, you know, if you go to the doctor's or to the nurse's office and you have to take a swab or something and um, it's very uncomfortable, but you know that it needs to be done. You're not resisting it, but, uh, and then they tell you to just relax that the more you try to interfere with the process and tense up, the more difficult you actually make it for yourself. So they're actually saying to just breathe into these changes um, it's already underway for a lot of you and they're also saying any strange symptoms that you may get during this time or, or just feeling very different it's just part of the process of changing that um, it, it will fade it will fade and you'll you'll come back to yourself but obviously you'll be more of yourself afterward next card you've got out is justice and it says take the time to review the details carefully you will win in the end fair and objective decisions the next card you've got out is balance. And it says, take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoint. I said merge as well, didn't I? Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. So they're telling me to read the justice and balance card together to give you the message. So I'm just going to tune in. Please give me a moment. Okay. So what they're saying is that uh, as a result of going through this transformation that um, there is a merging of the higher self and the human self. There's a reintegration of your, your. Um, they're saying your source energy, sort of like your, yeah, your source energy. They're saying your spark, your energetic blueprint. It's, it's like you're coming back into the wholeness of who you are. And they're, they're saying that that includes love. They're saying that that includes love. But they're saying that, um, the the love message that I'm getting mo the mo the strongest with this reading is that your perception of love and relationships is going through a transformation. So that's going to be different for, for all of you in terms of how that comes about. But um, that's where the love energy comes in. It's going through a change and it's not... Um, 
I can't predict anything further than that because it's 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 I can feel that this energy is just changing all the time and you're having all of these epiphanies and you're going back to the past and you're looking through all of these different things but I do see that um, I did see you know when you come back that there's there can be someone just waiting for you but they're saying that this is this image is also a, a representation of you being able to experience for yourself how easy things come into your life including love but all things come into your life when you are in flow when you are in when you are in alignment when you allow the fullness of who you are to come into your human self everything everything works out and that includes love okay Taurus that's what I got for you I hope that helps thank you so much take care and I'll speak to you soon bye bye